this guy's always trying to hog all the spotlight. Let me talk for once. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's damn, bro. That, you wanted the spotlight. You could have just asked. Damn. All right, introduce us. Bally kicks back. You see, that's why I do the introductions. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Valley Dogs are back with another video. Today we are doing something a little different. We are not reviewing some shoes. Instead, we know that it's that time of the year to go back to school. You know, some of us are already in school. Some of us are still waiting to get back to school. Either way, when we get back, we got to have some fresh kicks on us. You got to look good, man. You make your first entrance in class, you want it to be good. You want to come out like The Rock. If you smell what The Rock is cooking, right? So you, yeah. you want them to smell what you're cooking? You gotta have some fresh pair of kicks. So without further ado, these are the top five shoes that you need when you get back to school. Uh, keep in mind, they will go in order from least fresh to freshest. So stick to the end of the video to see what you need to be at the top of the freshness list. Let's get into the list right now. So kicking off our list with number one, these are gonna be the least fresh shoes on the list. You know, they're your beat around shoes. You know, shoes that you can wear every day. You know, doesn't mean that they're, they're gonna be all ugly and everything. They're just shoes that are tough enough to use every day and look good even if you get them a little bit dirty you know you could still look clean but you could chill in them you know shoes like this include Chuck Taylor. classic Chuck Taylor all-star Congress whatever you want to call them you know low high whatever you want to do you know as long as you rock it you can sock it you know what that means no I don't either but anyway, you know, if you wear these in the right way, you know, you can, you can wear them with shorts, you can wear them with jeans, and you'll still look clean. Damn, you listen to my bars. You can wear them with jeans, but you still look clean because you know what I mean. I'm the meanest machine. Oh, damn, someone, oh, man. They don't have to be Converse, you know, they could be Vans, you know. The point is, these are shoes for everyday use. You know, they'll get beat up a little, but it won't matter because they still look good with anything and you can relax in them. Just kicking back. And let's get on to the next on the list. Number two. Number two. All right, number two on our list. You know, a little fresher than the last one, but still, these are the most comfortable on the list. You know, but they're still fresher than the other ones but still you'll be able to chill on them, be comfortable, you won't be hurting your feet, you know, you won't get too stressed out wearing these shoes. These are running shoes or any type of comfortable shoes that look good with jeans and shorts. You know, example, this would be, oh, the Hirachi Runs, you see them? Clean, look how clean these are. These look good in jeans, shorts, underwear, naked, whatever you wanna, however you wanna wear them, you know, I don't judge, but, you know, these. this is just one example. There are tons of other running shoes. You know, you could use the Alpha Bounce, the Ultra Boosts, you know, there's a bunch of other Nike, the Nike Rocher Runs. You know, mix it up a little, but get one, get yourself one of these, do your feet a favor. These are extremely comfortable and they look good with anything, basically, if you wear the right color or, you know, if you get black, then it'll go with anything. But yeah, you need some of these running type shoes that look good with jeans. And that's number two on our list. Let's go on to number three. Number three on our list. These shoes, you know, they're a little more fresh than the past shoes. You know, you could wear them when you're trying to like actually go out to the club or something or to the mall. These include these type of shoes. Oh, look at that. The Gazelles, Adidas Gazelles, Adidas Gazelles, Adidas Campus, the Adidas Superstars, whatever you want to wear, you know, these are included in that category. Another great shoe you, you can wear that are included in this category are the Nike Air Force Ones. You know, we have a pair, but our cousin's using them. He's at school right now, so we couldn't show you. We'll just show you guys a picture. We got the Flyknit Air Force Ones. Those are great shoes, extremely comfortable and look fresh. 
and they're light. They look exactly like the normal Air Force Ones, just flying it, and it feels like you're not even wearing some shoes because of how light they are. Yeah. So you gotta get yourself some of these, you know. Once again, you gotta get yourself some Campus or some Adidas Superstars or Air Force Ones. Those are the type of shoes that are included in this category that you need for school because you're not always gonna be looking like a bum and wearing kick around shoes or running shoes and you're not also not always gonna wanna be wearing flashy shoes because then people are gonna step on them. So you need an in-between. These are perfect for that in-between category. So you need these type of shoes. And I forgot to tell you in the beginning, if you guys are interested in any of these type of shoes, we will leave links in the description to buy them. You know, they're, they're pretty cheap. These gazelles were probably se uh, 70 bucks, around 70 bucks. The, the superstars are around 80 bucks. And the, probably the most expensive one we mentioned is the Flyknit, um, Flyknit Air Force Ones. Those are probably around 110, 120, maybe 160 at its highest. But you know, it's all worth it if you're gonna look fresh and you're gonna get all the attention in school. All so, the ladies. All the ladies. So let's move on to number four on our list. Number four. Let's get it. All right, so everybody. So number four on our list, you got to get yourself some high quality fresh shoes. You know, they're going to be a little more expensive, but these are the shoes that are going to show people, damn, this guy got style. He has shoe game. I don't want to mess with him. I'm just going to look like a bum because I can't compete with this dude. These are the shoes that you can wear, uh, you can wear maybe twice a week, every week, you know, they're, they're not flashy enough that, that you, you, can, you can't wear them every, every other day, you know, but they're not too bummy that you're going to be wearing them every day. You know, these are shoes that you, you bring out twice a week, I would say, and you know, it just reminds everybody, damn. He's the alpha. Damn. Look, he's got my girl. Damn. My girl's sucking them off. Damn. I want to suck them off. Nah, but anyway, let's get into these shoes. You know, perfect example of these type of shoes. Woohoo! The, the, the Nike Air Unlimited. These are in the flax or wheat colorway. You know, you can't go wrong with these. They look great with jeans i haven't tried them on with shorts because you know I, I don't really like wearing shorts with these but you can't go wrong with wearing some light blue jeans and these or some black jeans they they are wheat so they pretty much will match with anything you know it got that white sole white midsole nice touch it makes it fresher than it already is you know you can't go wrong with these another example Jordans, you know any type of Jordan, whatever Jordan you have, if it's one of the numbered Jordans, not like, not one of those, like not some of those team Jordans, not some of those team Jordans, the numbered Jordans, like the one through 23, uh, you know, usually people like to get one through 14. Those are the mo most famous ones, but yeah, any type. These are the Jordan Tens in, in the um, New NYC. York City pack, you know NYC all black you know you can't go wrong with this leather matches with anything you know but it doesn't have to be jordan tens you know you can go out you uh, get yourself some ones the ones look great with anything they're classic everybody loves the ones same with the threes everybody loves the threes or the sixes you know i personally like the 12s the 10s and 13 13s he likes eights. Oh, the eights, you can't go wrong with the eights. You know, straps on straps, you gotta, you gotta come to school with the strap. You gotta come to the hood with the strap, so you can't go wrong with the eights. But get yourself some of these Jordans, you know, if you want people to know that you are the alpha of the, of the school. You are the freshest one out. You got the most shoe game, and you getting all the honeys. Let's go on to number five. All right, ending off our list for the shoes, the type of shoes you need for back to school. These are gonna be the more rare ones to find. You know, you're not gonna find them in a retail store like Foot Locker or anything. You're gonna have to go somewhere like Flight Club or maybe Walmart. Yeah, or Payless, you know, one of those. 
no they're also going to be uh, on the more expensive side you know that's why maybe it's good to have maybe one pair of these shoes but you got to have at least one pair to show to to in secure your spot as the shoe god in your school that's what's going to set the tone that's, that's going to set you set put you on stone it's going to put you in the pedestal in a pedestal you know everyone's going to be looking up at you like this You know, every time you walk by. But anyway, you know, these examples of these, you know, foam posits. Oh. You know, ooh, ooh, look at these crocodiles. Look at these alligators. They look like alligators. Anyway, these are the foam posit pros in the electric green colorway. You know, you don't have to get it in this colorway, obviously. But as you all know, if you know anything about shoes, foam posits are more on the expensive side. They're more expensive than uh, most Jordans. You know, but they are comfortable in my opinion. They are comfortable. Some people say they're not comfortable. Some people say they're ugly. I disagree. It's just my opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. But you know, foam posits, you can't go wrong. They look great with jeans and shorts and uh, sweats, whatever you want to wear them with. You know, a little more on the expensive side. But if you get these, people are going to be staring. You know, they're going to be like, damn, this dude fly. Yeah. I've gotten compliments on them before. Another example of these would be Ooh. 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 look at these oh adidas crazy eights night of the balding dead edition Ooh. look at that that's brains right there what's that brain for if this brain ensures that when you wear this brain you're gonna get brain you know you know what i mean you're gonna get brain if you wear these but as you can see you know glow in the dark bottom pink up top purple laces with spots you know you got the crossbones see that you see that and you got the tongue with that design not in balling dead show them the can't go wrong with this type of shoes insole. look at the insole right there it's got the feet Woo! the other one has got the that, that could body be your of a zombie feet. that could be your body of a zombie you could be a zombie yeah anyway like i said these are going to be a little harder to find you know you're going to have to look for them and you know you don't have to get like completely like impossible to find shoes but just this category includes these type of shoes you know they're flashy. flashy they're flashy they're not gonna match with everything you have you know you're probably gonna wear these i would personally probably wear these twice a semester you know so that's four times the whole school year you know because they don't match with everything and you don't want to wear them too much because if one because people don't care. People are going to be stepping all over Man, them. And what you happens know? when someone steps on it, you know what you got to do? You got to step on their face. That's so why you use these. You know, flashy, you know. They could be they could be any of the bottom, the, the other categories we gave you. It could be any of those type of shoes. But with a flashy colorway, they're a little more rare, you know. They're a little more limited edition. Follow our directions and you're going to be fly. I don't know what's wrong with us. We can't talk today. Probably because of the presence of all these great shoes. But know. as I was saying, you know, thank you guys for watching. Thank you. You know, you want another list like that? We got way more shoes to show you guys. You know, we actually took a longer time deciding which shoes we're going to show than making this video because we have so many other fresh shoes that we didn't want to you know keep out of the video. But, you know, we just had to keep, out, keep them out to make a, a good length video. But thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. You yeah. know, let us know if you want to see more of these type of videos. You know, we're happy to show you uh, the shoes we have and give you some tips on what to wear and how to wear it. Yeah. Thank you guys. God bless. God bless you. Shout out to Adrian.